Welcome to another episode, live stream, I don't know what I'm going to call them, on the Ultimate Fertility Guide. Welcome and I'm delighted to welcome my guest Maureen Brown, co-founder of Mosey Baby. And Maureen and I have spoken a couple of times actually on my fertility podcast and I wanted to kind of share what it is that her and her husband Mark do, what they've created because I think it's really interesting and brilliant. And they've actually had success themselves. When we're talking about natural fertility, we want to hear as many success stories as we can because I know none of us want to go through a fertility clinic door ultimately. So if we could do something at home, then amazing. So Maureen, welcome to, uh, I think my fourth live stream. How are you? Good, thank you for having me. This is so cool. This is my first live stream. Yay, so. well now you could do more of them. It's, it's <laughs> yeah. a whole new way. You just have to put your makeup on, which you don't have to do for the podcast. <laughs> yeah. So tell me how Mosey kind of came to be. Because you guys, sure. it's quite a, it's quite a fascinating kind of development process. Sure. So my husband and I, uh, you know, like a lot of couples, we were ready to start a family, and we thought it was gonna be so fun and so easy. And um, it turned out to be a little different than we thought. It took us a couple of years to conceive our first child, and uh, along the way, we tried a whole bunch of things, read the books, did the diets, and um, you know month after month, it, the pressure just kept mounting. And eventually we were diagnosed with unexplained infertility and we found ourselves facing some really expensive clinical options. And um, people were kind of whispering like, try a turkey baster, try some, try a syringe at home. And we thought, what the heck, let's give it a try. And so we looked online and we couldn't find anything designed for a woman's body or designed for insemination at home. And so, uh, we ordered some stuff, tried them to comical effect, and didn't have success. And eventually, um, we went through IUI, and we were part of that kind of lucky percentage of people who get pregnant off of their first IUI. Mm, good. But my husband came home from a run one day shortly thereafter and said, you know, why doesn't the why doesn't this product exist? This should exist. And I said, you're right, we should do this. And so um, I, I sketched something uh, that I thought would be more comfortable and would you know, accommodate a woman's body. And then we got input from our fertility specialist and um, helped design it with a medical device engineer. And so Mosey was born. And um, we, uh, we eventually, our first child was the inspiration and our second child is here as a result of Mosey. Amazing, it's yeah. such a good story, it's such a good story. When we ultimately developed Mosey, it was one of those things where we wanted to empower people with a, with a product that they could choose how the experience was. For some couples, it may be that they just completely need a break. That, you know, he's, he does his thing, she does her thing, and that may be what they need and that may work perfect for them. Doesn't mean anything against their relationship. It just may be that, you know, stress has taken over a little bit too much and they need a break. Um, or for some couples, he can be involved in the process um, as much as he wants as well. Um, obviously, there's that last key component <laughs> of um, catching <laughs> um, the precious specimen. But, um, you know, we, we were both engaged in the process, I will say that much. And um, he was the one who, um, you know, he was there, but I, I did the Mosey part myself um, on my own. It's, um, Mosey is very comfortable to use and it's about the same size uh, as a tampon. So if you've used a tampon before, it's very familiar um, in how you actually use it and, and insert it into your body. Um, you know, for, so for us, it, when, we, when we used it, and, it was really just kind of this fun experience where we felt like relief and that we didn't have to worry about the trying part. Like Mosey was going to take care of that. And we were just going to do what we wanted to do. And that was it, you know? What I'm going to do whilst we're talking is I'm just going to um, share a picture of Mosey so people can get oh, sure. an Actually, idea yeah. of, um, of what it yeah, looks right. like and your details <laughs> are there as well. So mm -hmm. people can see there's like a little pot in the pack and there's some instructions. And like you say, it's, I mean, I'm just coming back so people can see you now. As far as like a hand span, 
I'm just putting up my hands. Are we yeah, saying that the I syringe, have... is it like, is it like the, 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 it looks like it's like a hand. Oh, you've got one there. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, I'm five foot six. And so my hands, you know, take that into consideration. Okay. Um, but, you know, it's, it's not, in, it's not terribly long. And it's not, <laughs> it's not terrifying. Um, and it's is not it? terribly short. It's not terrifying. It's also, you know, we designed it with purpose um, so that it would be um, a length that would accommodate most women. Okay. And that you don't want it to be too long so it won't surpass the cervix. Yeah. Or, you know, be off to the side or somewhere else. Okay. Um, and so we, so it's, it's a very comfortable, approachable <laughs> size. So let's let's just go to some of the questions that we've got from sure. Facebook and the whole point of doing these chats on the Ultimate Fertility Guide and on the Fertility Podcast is to enable people to ask you questions. And Annabella said, is it complicated to use? Now, you've kind of covered it there. Um, but um, I suppose we're, we're so kind of putting pressure on every element that we're bringing into our TTC journey. Um, you explained mm -hmm. how you did it on your own. And I'm actually going to tie in Annabelle and James's question because they're, they're kind of connected. James has said, is there a timing issue from getting the cargo into the pot and into the syringe? So is there? Let's talk through the sure. literal ins and outs of it. Yes. Okay. So first, um, as far as a timing issue, for some people, this can be an advantage because they, you know, so I'm going to flip it first and come back and explain. But essentially, as a couple, there are some couples whose work schedules are just not that great. And so he may be leaving early in the morning and she may be just waking up when he's leaving. And so Mosey might be a good option for them where he can do his thing, set it on the, set it on the bed, you know, on the nightstand. And she, oh. within, you know, a certain amount of time can wake up and use it. Um, so that's, so, you know, something to think about on the, on the flip side timing wise though. Yes, it is important to make sure that you are, um, getting your specimen and using it in a certain amount of time. So, um, we, we recommend really, you know, with no longer than an hour, an hour is almost, you know, cutting it close, but we understand some people maybe need to travel or change locations. Um, but timing wise, we used ours personally when we were doing it within minutes. Um, we didn't wait, we used it fresh. Um, and so there's, there's a window there where, you know, the 15 minute window um, would be the, probably the most opportune window for you to use your specimen. Okay. Um, but yes, you definitely, you cannot have that it's a living specimen, really, when you think about it. You can't have it out for too long. Um, so I don't know if that answers James' question. James, I don't know if you're listening, but chime in if there's some, some more um, to that question that you would like me to answer. I'm happy, happy to explain further. Yeah. Oh, Maureen, we've just lost your sound. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, you came back. Okay. So I was just saying, James, I don't know if um, I if I fully answered your question, if you're out there or if anybody else has any other questions, let us know. Um, if there are any guys that want to ask any questions, don't be afraid because another point of the Ultimate Facility Guide is to make this a place where men and women can ask questions because there's always questions that you kind of feel uncomfortable asking and maybe in the comfort of your own home, you feel a bit happier doing it. And if you want to be anonymous, then you can say that in a little direct message as well. Um, another question we've got is uh, Jude saying, can you reuse the syringe? How many do you get in a pack? So uh, Mosey kit comes with two Mosey syringes. And we do not recommend reusing Mosey syringes. Um, they're single use only, and that's for a couple of reasons. One, we want to make sure we protect you if not properly cleaned um, in your home from any sort of infection. Um, we also want to protect you from having the syringe malfunction upon reuse. There's a medically safe lubricant in Mosey to help make sure there's a smooth transition and you'll find that most syringes have some sort of very 
very minor lubricant in it, but when washed, that lubricant will wear down. And so obviously you can imagine um, in some situations, getting that precious specimen, that sample um, isn't as easy as other cases. And so we wanna make sure that nobody's syringe malfunctions when that's in there. Um, you know, we know that uh, there are people reuse syringes all the time and, you know, other types of syringes and other types of situations, like when you're giving your child um, medicine or anything like that. But for Mosey, we recommend not reusing for those reasons. Um, and of course, you know, for liability reasons, um, we want to make sure people are safe. Um, and there, you know, Mosey is very, very safe. So don't be, you know, afraid to, to use it, but just want to make sure that again, we, we, if it's not properly cleaned that you're protecting your body. Now I was at a, um, a fertility festival in the UK last weekend called Fertility Fest. And I was sat on a panel, I was chairing a panel with men talking about going into a room in a clinic um, and yeah. doing their job. And um, there was a brilliant documentary that's called The Easy Bit, which is a British um, production company. And I'll be talking about it more, but it was speaking to a whole host of men about their experience and how it's so not the easy bit and how a lot of men put a lot of pressure on themselves in that clinic environment. And also when they're using the aids that those rooms have, feel quite uncomfortable about the fact that their future child could in essence be being created with a porn star, let's say. And mm -hmm. one thing that um, I wanted to talk with you about was getting over that issue of maybe using, as you have obviously described it as a non-conventional method yes. to, to conceive. What are your feelings on that? So personally, you know, I have two babies that come from non-traditional, uh, not intercourse, really. I mean, they're non-traditional conceived babies. I call them syringe babies. Modern, modern um, babies. Modern babies. And uh, for a modern world. And um, they, you know, in my opinion, those babies are made with a whole lot of love. Like, you had to go out of your way to make that baby. That is something to be proud about. And there is no shame in that. Now, I understand for men, the process can be different than what we all grow up dreaming. And for women, you know, it's the same. Like you're not having that made for TV moment where it's, you know, this intimate, very romantic set the scene situation. And for a lot of people, even when their babies are not conceived by um, syringes, it doesn't necessarily mean that, that their baby was conceived in the most romantic way either. So for me, I just say, you know, don't worry about it. Don't think about it. I understand there's a lot of emotion there because mm. it is an emotional experience. Um, but ultimately you are doing something incredibly beautiful in that you love your baby so much before your baby even exists that you are willing to do what it takes to create your baby. Yeah. Whether it be using an alternative method like Mosey or in a fertility specialist's office, I know it's not glamorous, um, but your child would not exist if you didn't take those steps. And yeah. so you're doing something incredibly beautiful and your child is coming from a place of love that you are willing to take those steps. So I, I celebrate it. I think it's something magical and wonderful that you're willing to go through it, go through that. Um, and just know that you're doing it for that child and for that beautiful baby that you're going to have. And, um, Whilst we're talking about that beautiful baby that you're going to have, um, Danielle has asked about what kind of success that you've had from from the people. And how long have you been going for? Is it a year and a half, two years now? Um, so really, we really kind of beta launched at the end of 2015, where we just turned on the lights. Um, and so 2016, we started to get some traction. So really, I mean, it's really been 2016, 2017 um, into 2018 now. Okay. And um, we've got a ton of success stories. Uh, you can read a lot of them online at our success stories blog at moseybaby.com. Um, but 
until we go through a clinical trial, um, we can't really make any claims on success rates. So we have plans, um, hopefully, to do that in the future and to um, share those with you know, the community. But for now, we have just the reported success stories that we have, and they are from all walks of life, all sorts of situations. We've had people spend thousands on IUI and IVF only to conceive with Mosey later. And um, you wouldn't believe the stories that we have. So most, um, you know, and as well, feel free to email us if you have specific questions about your situation to better understand if people have had success. Um, if you're not finding what you're looking for on our website, please do reach out. Um, you can private message us through Facebook, or you can also shoot us an email. My email personally is mo, that's M-O, at mosebaby.com. So well, if you want to email me personally, you can do that as well. I'm just going to flick to the info that I've put up as well, which is the info at mosebaby.com. So if they just put mo mm -hmm. at mosebaby.com there, then mm -hmm. they can get to you too. So I've put your website and the uh, social media because the community on social media has really grown, hasn't it? You've got a really good following. Mm -hmm. The awareness is really yeah. spreading, which is really great. Yeah, it's exciting and it's amazing. And I love talking about this stuff and I love answering questions that people have and just kind of saying, you know, you got this because most people, it's an emotional process <laughs> and I totally can relate because we've been there through a lot of it. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's a roller coaster. And so, you know, I definitely encourage people to reach out with their questions because um, I'd rather you ask than not ask. Well, with all of this stuff, when it comes to trying to conceive, there's no stupid question. And that's why trying to get more conversations happening in places like mm -hmm. the All Swift Facility Guide and with the podcast and, and hopefully encouraging people because it is hard to ask these questions, especially when it's something so personal, isn't it? And so many mm -hmm. of us put the blame on ourselves, don't we? Mm-hmm. We do. Oh, and I think I lost you there for a second too. But I, the last I heard was so many of us put the blame on ourselves and especially women, you know, um, and I went through some of that myself saying, you know, why can't I do this? What's wrong with me? Every definition that you have of what it means to be a woman ultimately is around being a mother. Um, or at least that's the traditional view that a lot of us are raised with. And um, so when it wasn't happening, um, I felt broken and I felt um, <coughs> Excuse me. like a failure at the most basic level. So um, it's definitely something that I want to let people know you are not broken. Give yourself a hug. You're going to find your child, you know, keep being true to yourself being honest with yourself and your partner, um, listening to that voice inside. But along the way, know that you are okay and you're not broken. You're, you, are, you are a beautiful person who's trying to find your child. And that journey is gonna take you through a lot of places. Um, and I hope that you know whether it's with Mosey or through a doctor or through some other means that you ultimately find your child and your baby and you get there. So you know, know that you're not alone. And, and there's people here who are like the ultimate fertility guide, um, Mosey Baby, lots of resources for you. And just going back to, you just mentioned um, the kind of medical side there. What kind of response have you had? I know you obviously had medical people inputting in the design and the development. H have you heard back from people who are people telling their doctors that they're trying this? Have you had any kind of direct relationship with doctors? Is there like a hope to get doctors to recommend it? Yes. So um, our fertility specialist, Dr. Lisa Hanser, did endorse us early on. Um, we've had a few other fertility experts endorse us as well, and you can read some reviews on our website. Um, you know, for right now, where we are, we're a two-person team, and so we're wearing a lot of hats. Mm -hmm. um, so we we are looking to grow and to um, to further our um, connection to the medical community. But right now, we've been working primarily with just um, the folks in the Mosey community who are out there who are trying to conceive and talking to them and making sure we're responding to their inquiries. Um, and making sure, you know, we're letting people know about Mosey Baby. We have had 
some conditions um, where we have heard from some Mosey users that they heard about it from their doctor. Um, and that one in particular is vaginismus. So vaginismus is a condition where it is painful to have intercourse. Okay. And as you can imagine, that would be very difficult to um, conceive. And so for women suffering from vaginismus, Mosey has been um, very helpful and a very easy product for them to use at home with their partner. And so that's one area where um, we have heard from a few people that their doctor has shared that with them and they've shared it with their doctor um, that it's been a successful way for them to conceive. That's good to know. Okay, well, I'm, what I'm going to do, I don't think there's any more questions on Facebook coming okay. in right now. Um, I think we broke up a little bit just then from the looks of what I can see on my other screen. So sorry if you're watching on Facebook. I hope you heard everything that Maureen said. Um, thank you for all your questions so far. Just before I say goodbye mm -hmm. to uh, Maureen, there's the details again for Mosey Baby. And you can follow them on social media. And as Maureen was saying, loads of stories on their... Um, on their website. Maureen, it's been lovely chatting to you. Likewise. Thank you for joining us on the brand new Ultimate Fertility Guide live streaming platform. And here's to lots more conversations that will hopefully yeah. get people talking and help them along the way. And um, yeah, best of luck with everything. Thank you. Forward. And you've done an amazing job. I love what you've been able to do and open up the conversation around fertility issues. So thank you. I applaud you. <laughs> and keep it going and thank you so much thank you too all right you take care now don't forget before we let you go that the next live stream is on tuesday the 29th of may tuesday the 29th of may with dr ifana Koita from ivf matters now ivf matters is a fertility clinic here in the uk it's an online fertility clinic where you can have access to all different types of services. You can even have blood tests done at home or at work. So Dr. Fana will be talking, um, answering all your questions. If you want to submit any questions beforehand, you can either do it as a direct message through the Facebook page, or you can put a post below. And all that's left for me to say is goodbye. Thanks for joining us. See you again. Mm -hmm.